Other state chapter of the Nigerian Labour Congress today joined their counterparts across the country in protest to register their displeasure against the continued rise in the cost of living in Nigeria. Speaking during the protest, the state chairman of the NLC, Odio Olaye, said the protest became necessary following the bad economic policies being implemented by the federal government, which has inflicted untold hardship on Nigerian workers, and noting that all efforts to appeal to government to address the issues have failed. We are doing this protest for the interest of Nigerian workers because of the anger that is in the land. Workers, we can no longer go to market and buy food the way we want to buy. We can no longer go to petrol station and fill our tank. And when we manage to buy four or five tesla, they cannot take us for one day. And with the situation in the cement in Nigeria today, they don't want Nigeria workers to build house. And we say no to that. Society in those states is associated with Nigerian Labor Congress. To say enough is enough. To say the hunger is killing. That the cost of living is causing the loss of the living in Nigeria. That workers cannot buy rice. We can no longer buy space to come build houses. People of Nigeria are dying. Our government feels the pain of Edo people. Our government wants Edo to thrive. We are not happy that we have to actually protest to say we are hungry. There is no society or no government that can support. Or one that kind of thing to be part of it. The people are dying on a daily basis as a result of hardship, as a result of high cost of living, as a result of inflation, as a result of epileptic power supply. A time will come when the masses will have no food to eat, they will be eating the rich. We pray that it will not degenerate into that situation. That is why we are calling on the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, uh, President Ahmed Bola Tinibu to fix the economy. So we are using the, this as a medium, this protest, to let the government, led by President Ahmed Tinubu, to quickly make changes and react positively and swiftly. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.